through the balls of your feet. So just where the base of the big toe starts, that's where we want to get the weight. For some, that might be difficult enough. Um, we hold that for 30 seconds. So we're pushing through where the base of the big toe starts, that four foot. Try and pay attention here, where's your weight? Does it naturally want to fall out to the outside of your foot? Or are you able to maintain <coughs> pressure through that um, medial, that inside part portion of the foot? Okay, after that next thing would be to have a rest and then start in the same position, feet shoulder width apart, push through that medial part of the foot, forefoot, and then can we lift one foot off without falling to the outside of that standing foot? Can we maintain pressure through that uh, middle portion of the foot just behind the big toe? Again, we're looking for a 30 second hold. After your 30 seconds, come all the way back down to two, regain that shoulder stance, push up through the ball of the big toe, inside portion of the foot, and lift the other side up. Again, paying attention to, are you able to stay on that inside edge, just behind the base of the big toe, or do you naturally want to fall to the outside of the foot? Another 30 second hold here. One working the soleus, which is a flat muscle just behind the gastroc, which is the big portion of the calf. Uh, so you're going to need a surface to lean against the wall. You want to get your back flat against the wall, feet slightly out in front. And you want to drop your hips so they become in line with the uh, hip joint centre, in line with knee joint centre. Feet are shoulder width apart. Then you're going to shift your weight forwards onto your toes and again onto the uh, base of where the big toe starts. So the heels are slightly elevated, weights towards the big toe, inside edge, and you're going to see if you can hold this position for 30 seconds. Okay, next up is an iso lunge hold. Um, so all you're going to need really is a slightly um, elevated surface for your front foot. You want to contact that surface with your forefoot, so just at the base of your toes, also known as the ball of your foot. Then you're going to split your stance, you're going to really load this front leg, and you're going to relax and drop this back knee down. And you're going to try and hold this position for 30 to 45 seconds, which will help to really uh, spread the load across the whole portion of the tendon. So really good for tendon health um, when you're increasing your running volumes. If you can load this, then it's really good to do so. So a dumbbell, kettlebell, any kind of resistance you can get your hands on um, for the opposite hand to the leg that's forward and just load like so. 30 seconds to 45 each leg. About three sets is optimal.